Hi, my name is Don O'Connor and I made this. Uh, my interest in being an artist started at a young age when I was emulating my father who was an artist in San Francisco in the 1950s and early 1960s. Um, as a young kid in grade school I was precociously talented and got the label of being the class artist all the way through high school and that really established in my mind by the time I was a teenager my identity as an artist to a great deal but what really set the hook so to speak was in my early 20s I had an opportunity one winter to do my first series of paintings where I did a, stretched up a dozen canvases and had the whole winter to do them all. Prior to that, I would only do one at a time. Um, that experience really changed my outlook about my being an artist. I realized at the end of that winter that I didn't know nearly as much as I thought I did about drawing, painting, and or the media, and it challenged me uh, to explore a lot of questions that came up about the media itself even and that's what I've been doing for the rest of my life since then uh, and then in 1995 an artist friend of mine Dick Elliott turned me on to these long thin strips of holographic vinyl that were he had been using to back up his neon sculptures and once I realized the potential of that that there was the spectrum in there and that that spectrum changed with the light frequency, it was like the first thing I used it on was like Eureka. This is what I've been looking for. Everything I've done as an artist has led up to this point and everything I do from here on on is going to hinge off of it. And for the last 22 years, that's what I've been doing is working exclusively in light reactive media. This piece is, is called Saturnalia, and it's light reactive media, the border is holographic vinyl, and the background in the, in, in the piece itself is holographic vinyl as well. The, the structure of the rest of the composition is made mostly from things that were left over from other projects, uh, these spirals, this section right here, um, the middle section there is, or the top part here is very symmetrical, but the bottom part has an element of asymmetry to kind of balance it out a little bit. Uh, this technique is mostly collage. It's cut and paste and varnish. Uh, there's a little bit of paint element. There's some uh, fluorescent paint dots here and there, very subtle and my signature is painted on there as well. The catalyst of light reactive media and what I use is the holographic vinyl. And that's something that changes the work from being a static image into something that's interactive because the holographic vinyl changes color and, and, and uh, lights up and turns on and turns off according to the light frequency. So if the viewer moves, the, something changes in it, the colors, the, the intensity of it, the, it lights up, it turns on, it turns off, and it makes it interactive to the viewer. It's not a static piece like most two-dimensional work traditionally is. Speaking of traditionally, it's a traditional format on framed canvas, but very contemporary media. Holographic vinyl wasn't around when I grew up. I think it's only started appearing on this, on our, in our culture about 30 years ago, and now it's ubiquitous. It's, it's uh, on your little credit card, it's in packaging, it's everywhere now. So it's a contemporary media, and that's one of the reasons that I choose to use it, because it's part of the time that we live in right now. It's part of our history. I, I've lived in Ellensburg for 33 years now, 33 years this month. I moved here in June of 1984. I came here as an artist, and this town has always had a real dynamic, vital, creative community. 
probably due to the art department at the university and, and people that live here. I think prior to moving here, uh, I, did, I was an artist, but a lot of my experience was I felt that I was being an artist in spite of the situation. But since living here, it's been a lot more because of the situation. So I'm really uh, grateful and honored to be here and, and, and glad that I live here. I love living here and producing here, my work. Uh, I, I feel that the community has been a part of it. And, and not only that, I have gone beyond my expectations of myself as an artist when I moved here. I've, I've exceeded uh, whatever I thought I would be doing. And I'm really pleased with that. And I think part of it is because of this town that I live in. So me personally and, and having some of my work on display here has been a real beneficial, but also seeing what, what other artists are doing uh, in, in this gallery, using it as a format. Uh, gallery One has, has evolved way beyond what it was when I moved here and is a very vital part of, the, of this community and of the creative process in this community. Um, I'm, I'm glad to be involved in this place. <laughs>